What's up everyone, it's Vivi and welcome to another Sly Cooper video. So with the recent news of the TV show starting in October 2019, well season 1 to be more precise, what does this mean for the game series? So let's discuss that a little. Heck, they're already planning season 1 for the show, correct? Before the pilot. I guess that's how it works, if it turns out great, I'm talking about the pilot, that's the purpose of a pilot, if it captures enough attention, the network will be like, alright, Let's make Season 1. If everything goes smoothly, Season 1 will, of course, start in October 2019. Hopefully. I hope everything goes well. About the pilot, I'm expecting one before 2018 ends. That's just my thought. Nothing's been confirmed, alright? I'm just comparing the whole situation to Sonic Boom. So guys, keep in mind, according to PGS Entertainment, Season 1 will begin in October 2019. So, knowing that information, what is Sony planning? Are they planning something for the game series? Sly Cooper, the fourth game, Thieves in Time. It released back in February 2013. It was originally supposed to get released in 2012. Some of you might say, why was it delayed? It wasn't necessarily due to the PS Vita. Sony explained, well, we want people to enjoy games even after the holidays. That was their reasoning. So it's not due to the PS Vita from what Sony was saying back then. We are currently in 2018. It's been five and a half years since the last Sly installment. Sly 4 released eight years after Sly 3, don't forget. Are we going to have to wait a couple of years still? Perhaps. Knowing Sony, we don't know. We're still gonna be talking about the PlayStation 4, by the way. The current gen console, which I believe still has a few years. Back in May 2018, according to John Codera, CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment, explained, that the PS4 was entering its final phase of its life cycle. Sony wants to beef up first-party titles. Not only that, they want to turn standalone IPs, titles, into actual franchises and refresh existing IPs. Sly Cooper, I say, falls within the refresh existing IP category. Are we gonna get something? Is it gonna be Sly 5? A Sly Remastered Collection for the PS4, all four games? I'm talking about an actual physical and digital release, not PS2 classics. Sony already released Jack and Daxter, four games under PS2 classics. Where's Sly Cooper if Sony is doubting the series? Wouldn't it be less of a risk to simply release 1, 2, and 3 under PlayStation 2 classics? Sony could be like, yeah, there's a fan base for Sly, let's make an extra couple of bucks and release 1, 2, and 3 on a PS4 under emulation. Correct me if I'm wrong, doing that would be much cheaper than an actual remastered collection or a game altogether. Something's going on. Okay, Ratchet & Clank, alright, it's not under PS2 Classics. Maybe it will, eventually. Same goes for Sly, but for now, Sony knows that Ratchet & Clank, for example, it's selling. So if Insania Games makes a new game, Sony is positive that it'll sell. It's possible that since Sony is so confident with the Ratchet & Clank IP, they don't want to waste time on, you know, PS2 Classics. I'm just guessing here, I might be completely off. But what about Sly Cooper? If they are doubting the series so much, yes, Sly 4 didn't sell that well compared to the previous installments. If so, why isn't it under PS2 Classics? I believe this has something to do with the TV show. If true, are they planning a reboot slash remake based off the show's premise? Does this explain the lack of news on the game series? So again, if Sony is hiding something, is it Sly 5? Is it a Sly Remastered Collection on the PlayStation 4? Or a reboot? which is based off the show's basis, let's say. Something like Ratchet & Clank PS4. Now, my preference would be Sly Cooper 5, along with the remastered collection for PlayStation 4. Just releasing Sly 5 out of nowhere? I'm not too sure about that. Sony will for sure consider newcomers. Like, how are people gonna understand this game if they haven't played the previous ones? Maybe they haven't uh, touched the collection. Maybe they've never played the games on PS2. So the word refresh could mean a collection, a series which remained in the shadows for almost six years now, brought back to the light on the PlayStation 4 via remastered collection. That's a good way of one, testing the waters, and two, bringing back the community as much as possible. The players, let them know they're still an active fan base. That probably sounds funny to you, an active fan base of Sly Cooper? <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? I mean, if they release a collection, you never know. Here's one thing I never understood. I've said this in the past. 
for those of you who've been subscribed for a while. If Sony said yes to a TV show, why is it Sly 5 is still a mystery? Why say no to a game series? I'm not saying they said no, they didn't specifically say no, but why would they say yes to a TV show? Sure, Rainmaker funded most of the Ratchet and Clank movie, back then it wasn't Sony, but a TV show on Sly, it's still a pretty big deal. I feel like there's a lot of emphasis on Sony Interactive Entertainment, how Technicolor and SIE are involved, but to what extent? Honestly, if they're doubting the Sly series, I believe the show is not being funded by them completely. Perhaps just a little percentage. If we don't have a sequel, why are we getting a TV show? That's something I never was able to wrap my head around. Refresh could also mean new engine, new visuals, eye candy for gamers. These days, from what I've seen, trailers, gameplay, graphics is a pretty big deal. I'm not saying graphics is everything, no, absolutely not. I'm just looking at this from, you know, events, press conferences and everything. Fans' reactions when they see something, ooh, looking all realistic and stuff. Well, just the graphics in general, right? Something visually appealing. If they like it, they'll get curious and then buy it. Look at Ratchet and Clank PS4. A game which had a tight budget, 10 months of development. All of that was spent on the visuals and gameplay. Story-wise, that's where the game lacked. A game which looks absolutely stunning doesn't mean it's a perfect game. It could be lackluster somewhere. And yet, although the story, according to the fanbase, was lackluster, it's the best-selling game at Insomnia Games, and is now going to relaunch again under PlayStation Hits. Something a little off-topic, something I want to get off my chest. How did Ratchet & Clank PS4 sell the most at Insomnia Games? Wasn't it Spyro 1? Well, the thing with that, if you include both physical and digital, perhaps it did surpass, this might sound funny, or unlikely, 5 million copies. I'm just saying, if Insomniac Games believe that it's their best-selling game ever, then it could have surpassed Spyro. Anywho, imagine Sly Cooper in full CG. Take the visuals of the TV show and make a game out of it. To be honest with you, I would look very forward to a game in full CG. Just looking at the movie teaser, that color noir feel, it just looks so cool. Very appealing. Imagine getting a trailer of a Sly Cooper game in CG. It's gonna attract a bunch of people. Two things I want to say. They could be planning a CG game to come along with the TV show. To act as a promotional tool. Hopefully better managed than the whole Ratchet & Clank movie slash game situation. But here's the downside to this. Sly 4 will forever remain on a cliffhanger. That's a big no-no. If Sony really wants to reboot the series, CG, something off the premise of the show, they're gonna start with one game, Thievius Raccoonus. If so, they should at least consider a comic series to wrap up Sly 4. Have Sly return home, team up with Dark Horse, I don't know, do something. If Sony, looking at the visuals of the TV show CG, if Sony is planning to leave behind the 2D cartoon style of Sly with cell shaded graphics, then make comic to wrap up that saga. What other option is there? If you don't want to annoy the fans, then releasing a comic is the best thing they could do. I'm saying this if you know they're not considering Sly 5 at all. I'm not saying I don't want Sly 5, no no. I hope you just don't- I hope you don't misunderstand what I just said. Next thing. Sony could release a collection and put a trailer in there, a teaser, like the Sly Collection on the PS3. And this teaser could be in CG, making fans and newcomers aware that, hey, the next game will be huge and will be running on a complete different engine. Easy. A CG Sly, like I said, would look beautiful. Color Noir Atmosphere, absolutely fantastic. This is just my opinion. If they want to refresh the series that way, visual-wise, I'm all up for it. Last option. Sony will tell the developer, alright, use the same style as Sly 4. Slightly improved, of course, we're talking about the PS4. Add more mechanics, a bunch of new things, and call it Sly Cooper. They probably won't call it 5, but that'll be our Sly 5. And after this, they're either gonna reboot something that's gonna follow the TV show, at least for season one, or a brand new saga, call it a soft reboot. 
something similar to the future saga, Ratchet and Clank. Games which stand pretty well on their own. If a newcomer were to pick up this new Sly Cooper saga, they wouldn't be too lost, especially if those games include some sort of summary, reference to the previous games, like a diary, a journal, something like that. This new saga could be in full CG. Finish off the old saga with the same style of Sly 4, and then start a brand new trilogy. I know I'm over-hyping, overthinking, <laughs> a trilogy like this dude is crazy, what is he on? <laughs> I'm just saying, if we get a new saga in CG, fans will have less of a hard time accepting it. Like, alright, you guys wrapped up uh, the old saga, cartoon, alright, cell shaded, alright, we get it. I'm looking forward to this new saga. It's something new, visually different, alright, I'll give it a try. Like, really, there's still so much they could do with this series. Like, a new saga would be so cool. Anywho, back to the TV show, it's short, I'm not gonna talk too much about this part. I'm expecting a trailer at the next event. However, according to Shuhei Yoshida, Worldwide Studios president, they're not too sure after E3 2018, like the events they want to throw. We don't have much information yet, but I do expect the trailer to drop in the next coming months. Oh, last question. Who will make the next Sly Cooper game? Easy. Sanzaro Games. Sucker Punch has left the series. We got Sly 4 eight years after Sly 3. That tells us so much. I don't think they would go back. They're currently focused on Ghost of Tsushima. And from now on, I think they're gonna focus on those types of visuals and gameplay. Sucker Punch also said, Sly is in good hands, implying Sanzaru Games. Sanzaru Games has said, By the way, yes, in 2014 they said, no, we're not making Sly 5. But that was 2014. A few years later, they said, it's up to Sony. Ask them. We would love to make Sly 5. Including a remastered collection. So if Sony wants a new game, they already have a team with a lot of passion. So with that being said guys, this is it for the video. So if you have any questions or anything, leave it in the comments section below and uh, tell me what you think, really. A CG Sly Cooper game, or a saga, is it a bad idea or a good idea? So yep, I've been Vivi and thank you so much for watching.